access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Sé el primero. W.C. Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, W.C. Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage, as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706-238 one two one four WC Timber and Tree Service Access that allows me to follow my passion. You look exhausted. Dude, my to-do list got the best of me. I finally sharpened the blade, trimmed the yard, raked the leaves, and then I mowed. Yeah, me too. Get out. You're not even breaking a sweat. I know. My grasshopper trimmed around the yard, power back the leaves, and then mowed. I did all of it without leaving my seat. I gotta get a grasshopper. Finish fall cleanup and be ready for winter with a grasshopper mower. Here we go again. allows me to do what I've always dreamed of, and that is helping people. They call it Mo Day, a time of fanfare and pride, and another week with the neighborhood's best yard, because you drafted the MVP of all mowers. A comfortable seat and adjustable controls bring the battle to your turf, not your backside. Ride like the wind on your solid steel stallion and give the fans something to cheer about because it's your day, it's Mo Day. Crestview Angus, your source for premium locally raised beef delivering the finest quality from farm to table. Contact them on Facebook to place your order today. Northwest Georgia Media, we're all about capturing the moments that matter to you. From sports to arts, from concerts to business events, we're equipped to share what's happening in your world, live and in high definition. We leverage cutting edge technology and a knowledgeable crew to see that your most unforgettable events remain just that, unforgettable. Northwest Georgia Media, where the world is your audience.
Well, Ian, he got it right. He almost yeah. went back to Ian, but it is Ian Griffin. I'm Matt Davis. We're glad to bring you live coverage of model basketball here on WLAQ. And guess what, Ian? It's time to get back into region play tonight. The smell of popcorn and sweat has filled Water Gymnasium, and that means one thing, Matt. Little model Blue Devils basketball. That is so true. We're going to talk about the matchup that we got for you tonight. It's the Model Lady Devils and the Gordon Central Lady Warriors locking horns here in a region showdown. Tell you a little bit about these two teams and how they got to this point. 11 and 4, the Model Lady Devils at this point in time. They are 3 and 1 in region play. And meanwhile, the Gordon Central Lady Warriors, they've had kind of a tough season. They're 5 and 12 overall and 1 and 4 in region play. They have lost three in a row. Meanwhile, uh, the, the Lady Devils have lost one. Um, and that was back on Saturday. I guess a really, really good Pickens basketball team. Final score in that game was 77 to 60. And even though it was a 17 point loss, uh, that Pickens team is, uh, you know, from a higher classification. I understand they are excellent. And the Lady Devils put up a really good fight. It was a great learning experience against that team. The night before, they played on the road at Temple, won that game 53 to 44 after a tough battle that we saw here last week. So, um, kind of a mixed bag this past weekend for the Model Lady Devils, but a great weekend of basketball and a team that's really heading in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, and they're going to keep themselves in every game by playing tenacious defense as the hallmark of this Model Lady Blue Devils squad. They've got some scores. When we were here last, Matt, they had a tough shooting night, but still stayed in that game, fought back, and kept things close with Sonorville. But this, this is region play. This is a big game. Uh, you, you've got to circle these on the schedule and be ready and and build your resume for that state tournament. Oh, indeed. And I do want to mention to our radio audience as we proceed with our pregame here that we've got a triple header for you today. We're going to have model basketball with the girls game against Gordon Central. Shortly after that, we'll have about 10 minutes in between. Then we'll get you ready for the boys game model and Gordon Central. And then after that, it is a late night game for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets as they play at home against Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish are in town in Midtown Atlanta. So we're going to get you to that game right around 9 o'clock. So we may be able to get you there in time for the tip off of that one. So three games for you tonight on WLAQ. Hope you like round ball. Oh, no, stay but, tuned in. Definitely don't go anywhere because we got you covered with that. I do want to take the opportunity to recognize the sponsors for the 2023-2024 Model High School Basketball live stream, which we're also a part of tonight, providing commentary courtesy of WLAQ. But you have Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialist, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. And while we're at it, we'll thank our radio sponsors, Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales, Sylvan Learning Center, and Ware Mechanical. And we really appreciate our partnership in bringing you these games with our friends at Northwest Georgia Media who produce the video stream for Model. They do a fantastic job, and we always enjoy getting, getting able to, uh, being able to ride along with them. So let's recognize their crew. On cameras, you've got Benton Potts and Kayla Bice. Director tonight is Mike Garrett. Replay is Nathan Patterson. PA announcer is Grayson Atkins. And again, I'm Matt Davis alongside Ian Griffin providing commentary from WLAQ Sports. Lynn Butler's back at the studio, by the way. And speaking of Lynn, we need to take a break. We're a little bit overdue for that. About four minutes and 20 seconds until the start of the first game. So let's send it back to the studio for two and a half minutes. We'll be back on the pregame on WLAQ. West Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment. 
Georgia Highlands College. Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists. W.C. Timber. Dogwood Books. Shannon Pharmacy. And Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Side here of Woodard Gymnasium out here at Model High School, getting ready to bring you some round ball here on the radio and also the live stream. Model Lady Devils set to take on the Gordon Central Lady Warriors. We talked about the records. Let's dive into the numbers a little bit more and have a look at scoring and defense. As far as the Model Lady Devils are concerned, they have scored a little over 51 points a game, given up just 40 points. Meanwhile, on the other side, the Gordon Central Lady Warriors, 39.8 points scored a game on average. Meanwhile, they're giving up about 49.2 points a game. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Obviously, um, Ian, we've seen this Model Lady Devils team play, and they really like to set the tone with that defense, don't they? Yeah, yeah they're going to pick up. They're going to play full court uh, press and, and, and pressure the ball uh, throughout the game. They've got good depth, so they can cycle in players. So it's not a problem of, of conditioning. These girls are going to be ready to get out there and run and pressure the ball and try to get the ball in transition to score on the other end. I'm about to give you the starting lineups for the game. Just want to give you a heads up in terms of what's on the docket for the rest of the week for both of these teams. On Friday, both teams, the boys and girls varsity teams, are going to hit the road to go to Rock Mart and play at 6 for the girls, 7.30 for the boys. We will not have coverage for that on the radio or the live stream. Uh, as far as the next game that will be covered, it will be on Saturday as Unity comes calling here to Woodard Gymnasium, 6 o'clock girls varsity, 7.30 boys. So we're going to go ahead and get on our feet and get ready for the national anthem. Then we'll give you the starting lineups and we'll have things begin here inside of Woodard Gymnasium. Here is your national anthem.
anthem renditions, and boy, the pipes. Wow, I, I, I was just about to say, I, I'm, I'm, I'm new to this. And so far, two for two on some home run national anthem performances. Indeed. Well, let's give you the starting lineups here, and we'll get things going inside of Woodard Gymnasium. We're going to start with the visiting Gordon Central Lady Warriors. We will start with number four, Briley Stewart, a junior. Also in the starting lineup, you've got number 10, Katie Haynes. She is a junior as well. Number 22, Renaya Ellis, a 5'8 junior. And rounding out the starting five here for the Gordon Central Lady Warriors is going to be number 32, Bailey Chastain, a 5'5 freshman. Their head coach is Macy Mills. And I noticed that one of their assistant coaches is Skip Matherly. And Coach Matherly used to be the head coach over at Pepperly. He's coached at a number of schools. He's also one of the assistants over at Darlington. And I believe that um, Zach Mendez. He took over for Skip Matherly over there at Pepperell, and we've had conversations with him about Skip before and talked about what a great influence he was uh, and, and what a great teacher he was of the sport of basketball and coaching in general. Well, what you see with a lot of those great coaches is they can't ever get out of their system, can they? They're, they're going to stay around the game and continue to help develop uh, young men and women uh, on the court or on the field of play. Oh, indeed. I mean, to your point on that, I saw some news that came out this past week and I mentioned this because he was coaching at Model, helping with the offensive line this past year. Coach Atha, Tommy Atha, is going to be one of the assistant football coaches over at Calhoun starting this upcoming season, coaching the quarterbacks and helping with the offense there. So um, you're, you're exactly right. Yeah. Well, here's the starting lineup for the Model Lady Devils, and we'll get things rolling inside Woodard Gymnasium. We're going to start with number 11, Briley Sims, number 14, Rachel Burkhalter, number 21, August Betts, number 23, Eva Pointer, and number 24, Javia Samples. And, of course, the head coach of the Model Lady Devils is none other than Sally Eccles. Had a tremendous amount of success here and continues to do so. This is a really, really well-coached basketball team. As a matter of fact, one of the things I did want to point out in our pregame, Ian, I was looking at the AJC um, earlier this week, and Model is currently ranked number nine, according to the AJC, in AA basketball right now, the girls are. And again, you know, we talked about this during our last broadcast, Matt. It's it's not necessarily a reflection of how good this team is, you know, the record that they have so far as they get into region play. Tip goes to model. August Betts won it. The model Lady Devils are going to start on offense. They're wearing their white uniforms with blue letters and numbers and black trim. Meanwhile, the visiting Gordon Central Lady Warriors, they're in their grays with blue letters and numbers and white trim for the folks that are listening on the radio. They kick it out. There's samples. Three ball almost hit. A little bit off the mark there. Ball loose on the four. Battle ensues, and Gordon Central comes away with it. A good scrap there. Here come the Lady Warriors. Nope. Model's going to steal it away. Eva Pointer comes out with it. Bringing it up the floor is going to be Rachel Burkhalter. She goes across the logo at center court, goes right to the top of the key, sends it left to Briley Sims. Sims shoots it in the corner over to the left wing side. Now on to August Bet. She stands near the low block. Nice pass over to Javia Samples. Now down to Eva Pointer inside to Bet. Splits defenders, puts it up. That one rattles off the rim, but she gets her own rebound. Now back up top to Briley Sims, on to Rachel Burkhalter. She's directing traffic from the left side of the floor. Ball poked loose and a steal for number four, Briley Stewart for Gordon Central, goes coast to coast, has her pocket pick, yeah. and the Lady Devils come back the other way. A second steal for Pointer. Rachel Burkhalter with the ball, sends it to Javia Samples on the right wing, back to Burkhalter, who's now in the corner, bounce pass underneath, baseline dribble, ball is poked out of bounds by Gordon Central. Model moving the ball, getting a lot of touches on each possession. Sims is going to fire it in, gets it to Javia Sample. She dribbles across the logo, sends it right wing side of Rachel Burkhalter. Now back to Samples. Now to Betts, back out to Samples. Three ball on the way, and it's through. First one looked good, was a little short. That one was bottoms. Javia in the previous, well, two games ago up at Temple, she scored 22 points and had four three-pointers in that basketball game. Gordon Central with it, and a foul is going to be called. I think they got Burkhalter they with this did. one. Got, got her with the body there. Model playing that trademark, aggressive in-your-face defense. They've already forced a few turnovers early in this ball game. Stewart to set things in motion for Gordon Central on their side of the floor. They're working left to right. No score. Well, actually, model up three to zero, rather, after that three-pointer from Samples with 6.07 left to go in the first quarter, and she tries to heave it up to the bucket. It's tipped out of bounds by model. Mm -hmm. so that will stay with Gordon Central. 
So Stewart surveys the floor from the baseline, is going to lob it in. They go towards the top of the key with it. Young lady turns around, kicks it out, gives it right back to Stewart. Ball is going to be deflected, but Stewart grabs it right back. Gordon Central with a three-pointer on the way, and that one rattles off the rim. Looks like they get, may get another shot, though, because a rebound was picked up by Amberly Wall. Now Mala gets it and goes the other way. Here's Javia Samples, head fake, starts to go in, loses the handle. The ball was knocked free by defender. Javia Samples resets the offense, sends it left wing side to Briley. Briley Sims now on to Samples, head fakes, gives it to the free throw line to Sam. Uh, long three ball on the way. That's a high arcing shot. It's going to be left short. And Gordon Citrell comes out with it. Long three ball on the way. That one's left well short. Here's the putback, and that one's going to go. Yeah, quick shot there by Gordon Central, but second chance. Here goes August Betts. Renai Ellis was the shooter who made the backs basket for Gordon Central. Missed shot on the other end by Betts. Here comes Gordon Central back the other way. They're working pretty quick. Ball poked loose by Eva Pointer. Sims came out with it, and that's a double drip. Yeah, yeah. Another good steal. Some solid defense on both sides so far. But to this point, Model's getting better shots, and that's coming from ball movement. I think that the defense is, is, is getting to Gordon Central, and they're having to kind of create their own shots, even up threes. Briley Stewart tosses it into the backcourt, finds a teammate who dribbles with it right around the M at center court. With it is Renaya Ellis. Ellis dribbles off to the right, and the ball's poked free and out of bounds by Briley Sims. So it's staying with the Gordon Central Lady Warriors. And we get ready for Renaya Ellis to inbound the basketball. The 5'8 junior surveys the floor, tosses it in, gets it into Stewart, who is running things on offense here for this Gordon Central team. Gives it right back to Ellis. Ellis dribbles across the M, goes back to Stewart, who's now on the right wing with the ball. They try to lob it up. Betts dives up and grabs it. Here she goes the other way. Rachel Burkhalter with it now, dribbles across the M, directing traffic here on offense. Going to send it to Briley Sims on the right wing. Rachel Burkhalter cuts to the right wing side. They feed it to her in the corner. Now they go back up top to Javia Samples. Samples dribbles, 15 seconds on the shot clock. Now Burkhalter with it on the left side, gives it in to Eva Pointer, back to Burkhalter, and buries the three. Dead center on that one, Ian. Yeah, have two for four from behind the arc. All their points coming thus far from the three point behind the three point line. Ball stolen away. Javia Samples from the low block off the glass, rattles in and draws the contact. And Samples said, oh, oh, they were going to wave that it off. off. Wow, I didn't see the call. I don't know if she walked or. Here's another look at it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they got her for the walk. All right, ball is poked free, but Gordon Central retains possession of it. Poked free again, Eva Pointer, boy, she is getting her hands all in there. Here's a long three from Samples, and she nails it. Whoa. And that's going to force Gordon Central to call a timeout. And we're going to take it to 346 left to go in the first quarter. Model nine, Gordon Central two, don't go anywhere. We're back in 30 seconds. Access that allows me to follow my passion. Three made threes here for Model already. One for Rachel Burkhalter, two for Javia Samples, and Model is out to a 9-2 lead. Yeah, it's almost the opposite start we saw in their ball game with Sonoraville last week where they were moving the ball well, but the shots just wouldn't fall. Well, tonight they're falling. Samples uh, and Burkhalter have been hot, and they're taking their shots when they get them, and they're getting good looks because of that ball movement and the, the ability to feed it down to the post to Betts and Pointer and the way they're kicking the ball back out. So really unselfish basketball so far from the Lady Devils. Indeed, and models really had their way with Gordon Central the last couple of, year, uh, last couple of years. Last season, I remember there was a 63 to 25 game up at Gordon Central. And then when Gordon Central came here, model beat them 56 to nine. So 
Maybe a little bit of intimidation factor as Gordon Central comes in to play at Wooder right, Gymnasium you, as well. Are you trying to tell me we're going to have to have story time later in this game? Uh, well, we'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens. But I'm saying that models off to a good start as they have been the last couple of times that they played this team. But bringing it across the four is going to be Ellis here for Gordon Central and actually yeah. a timeout. Oh, Backcourt. Okay. Uh, she dribbled on the line and then pulled it back there. Julia Schenholster, who's in off the bench now, is going to feed it in here for the Blue Devils. Samples now on to Burke Halter, gets it to Sadie Rotten, who's off the bench as well. Shot from the free throw line rattles off, but Pointer gets her own rebound. Sends it back out to Samples. Here's Rotten for three, and that one's going to be left a little bit short. Ball's loose on the floor, and it's chased down by a Gordon Central Lady Warrior. So the Warriors are bringing up the floor, work around the press with a couple of passes and immediately travel. Yeah, man. One of the things I'm noticing is during that timeout, Gordon Central kept that starting five on the floor. So you've got to wonder that they're substituting as I say that, but you've got to wonder if depth will be an issue in this game as well. Because really, I mean, there's no drop off. When you bring Rotten and Shinholster in off the bench, you've got some really quality players coming in. Lyric Swain checks into the game for Renaya Ellis for Gordon Central. Model with the basketball. Samples has got it on the right wing, fed it in the corner briefly to Shinholster. Now dribbles back up top and around the left wing side. Burkhalter cut towards the basket. They throw it to the free throw line, back out to Samples for three. That one caroms off the rim. A little too strong on that one. Rebound goes to Gordon Central, and they got to deal with this pressure, and they're able to get around it and bring it up the floor. They're across center court, feed it to the right wing side. Three ball in the way. That one bounces high off the rim. Samples there for the long rebound, brings it up the floor. Samples, the lob pass left wing side. Sadie Rotten for three, and it's money. Yes, ma'am. Wow. And the threes continue to rain down for the Lady Blue Devils. They've made four here in this first quarter, and they lead it 12 to two, a 10-point lead for Model. Across the timeline is Renaya Ellis. Ellis is going to feed it back out to Lyric Swain. Swain on to Ellis, tries to work around a pick. Now they go back up top with it, going to take a couple of steps towards the paint, loses the ball. Rotten comes out with it, feeds it off to Burke Halter. Burke Halter across the line, shin holster, bounce pass inside of Eva Pointer, kicks it out to the free throw line, Rotten nails it. And Sadie Rotten coming in off the bench with a quick five points. What an asset to have come off the pines to come, come, come out and play for your, your squad. They go to the right wing side, have it to Stewart. She dribbles back up around top of the key. Now she stands on the end, picks up her dribble. Ball's poked loose by Shinholster. Thought we may see a run out from Samples there. Three ball on the way. That one caroms over the rim and goes out of bounds. I believe it was tipped by Model. Yeah, Burkhalter got her hand on that one. We'll see another fresh face in Jada Wells. And also Milan Howard. So right now, as you mentioned, you got Wells, Howard, also Samples, Rotten, and Shinholster on the floor for model. Gordon Central with the basketball off the inbound pass. Howard comes in, grabs it, and steals it right away. Yeah. Off the bench and already making an impact. There's Javius Sample, sends it to Wells. Now back out to Samples. Fakes, kicks it up top of the key. Now around to Rotten, surveys the floor, sends it down to Howard. Now back to Rotten up top. Now back to Rotten for three, and that one's off the side of the rim, and, and it goes out of bounds. And they're giving Rotten that look. If she wants to step up and take it, she can hit the three ball. She's already shown us that once tonight, but that one was a little bit short. Model 14, Gordon Central 2 here in the girls' varsity game, so things off to a hot start here for the Lady Devils. They made four threes here in this first quarter. 33 seconds on the clock, 22 on the shot clock, roll, ball rolls out of bounds. Last touch by Model. Model started the scoring with three. Gordon Central scored two, and it has been 11 straight unanswered points from Model. Stewart tried to bounce it in. Ball is not loose, goes out of bounds, and it was actually last touch by Gordon Central, so the Lady Devils are going to get the ball back. Shot clock is off, so they can play for the last shot if they want. Here comes Javia Samples across the timeline, feeds it right to Rotten. Now back up to the top of the key. Now around to Shin Holster on the left wing side. Fakes, gives it to the free throw line, down low to Howard, and she travels, no doubt. Now Gordon Central will have an opportunity to play for the last shot with 14.4 seconds left. 
Bringing it up the floor is going to be Lyric Swain. She's across the center court stripe. Ball nearly deflected there by Shinholster, but it stays with Gordon Central. Stolen away. Here comes Shinholster. Two seconds. Going to try to lay it in. It's high off the glass, and it will not fall. So that is where we are at the end of the first quarter. Model leads at 14-2 over Gordon Central. We'll be back for the second quarter after a one-minute break. West Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Tuesday night and it's basketball night here on WLAQ and also the Northwest Georgia media live stream. Gordon Central will open up with possession of the ball trailing model 14 to two here in the girls varsity game. They're gonna send it to the left wing side, quick jump shot for two that bounces high off the rim. Briley Sims is there to get the board. Lady Devils gonna bring it up the floor. Sims across the center court stripe, sends it down to August Betts. On the floor right now for model, you got Betts, Samples, Sims, Rotten, and also Eva Pointer. Right now with it is Rotten, who's on the left wing side with it. Feeds it to August Betts. Now into a cutting Javia Samples off the glass, and it rattles in. And you're seeing Betts and Pointer flash right there to the free throw line, Matt, and then make that extra pass time and time again. A great look from Betts finding Samples on her way to the basket. Briley Stewart went coast to coast. Didn't get the bucket, but she did draw the contact, so it looks like we're going to see her from the charity stripe and the first free throws that we've seen in this basketball game. So Briley Stewart shooting two. And her first one's in the air and rattles off the back of the rim. And when you watch this Gordon Central team, it seems like the offense really flows through Stewart. She's having to put a lot on her back to create shots for herself and teammates. She gets ready for her second free throw shot. Only one bucket here in the game so far for Gordon Central. Second shot on the way, and that one rattles in. So she makes the second of the pair. Missed the first. Samples across the timeline, feeds it left to Sadie Rotten. Now back up to Samples, who dribbles across the M at center court. Nearly lost a handle on it there. Feeds it up to Sadie Rotten up at the top of the key. Now back to Samples on the left wing side. Thought about the three, feeds it into Rotten. Now back to Samples. Starts to drive, gives it down to Briley Sims. Shakes off a couple of defenders. Puts it up and it goes in and out. August Betts chased down the rebound and we've got a whistle. Yeah, she got fouled there. Can't see the number, number 10. No. Katie Hames is charged with the foul. We get ready for Sadie Rott to inbound the ball here for Model from the baseline off the inbound pass. There's Eva Pointer misses the point blank shot. There is August Betts trying to clean it up. She misses two, sends it back out to Rotten. The three ball on the way, and it's right in range. She Ooh. knocks it down. My goodness. Scrapping three offensive rebounds on that possession, and Betts eventually kicks it back out to Rotten, who knocks down her second three. She, uh, yes, she did. That's her second three, and it was the fifth three made for Model. And it's kind of interesting because they missed a couple of point blank spots there. They yeah. kick it out, and it's a long three, and it goes right in. Yeah. Rotten with it. Now to Briley Sims. Jacks up the three. That one's off the side of the rim. Sims chases down her own rebound, tries to clean it up, can't get it to go. And the rebound goes to Renai Ellis. So two looks there for Model in that possession. Again, August Betts active with her hands under the basket. She tipped that ball to get that second chance opportunity. 19 to three, your score, model on top. They have taken charge of this one early. 6-12 left to go in the second quarter. Gordon Central, ball ricochets off a Gordon Central player, ends up in the hands of model. Here's samples off the glass too strong, yeah. but she gets clobbered on her way up, so she's going to the line. That'll be two, Riley Stewart. You're right, clobbered her. <laughs> Been a better way to uh, describe that one, Matt. 
No ball, all body. <laughs> <laughs> so Samples at the line. She earned these shots, as, as we're trying to point out here. First one's through. She'll get ready for the second one. Some fresh faces on the floor. Shinholster back in, and is that num that's number five, Chelsea Parker, coming on for the Warriors. One more free throw shot coming up here for Javia Samples. And model leads us by 17, 20 to three is the score. Second shot, and that one's gonna rattle in. Javia's got 10 points in the game already. Two threes, mm -hmm. and now she's two for two at the free throw line. Yeah, solid night for her so far. So the score moves to 21 to three. We're under six minutes to play now in the second quarter. Gordon Central with the basketball. Now they try to work around a screen at the top of the key, and she travels. I'll tell you what, Rachel Burkhalter ran into two picks there, going back and forth across the floor. So now we've got a timeout by the Warriors. Let's take it with them. 5.52 left to go, second quarter, model 21, Gordon Central 3. It's girls' varsity game, and we're back in 30 seconds. Crestview Angus, your source for premium locally raised beef, delivering the finest quality from farm to table. Contact them on Facebook to place your order today. And a good finish by Betts as it was contested. Gordon Central with it on the other end. It's 23 to 3, a 20 point lead now for Model Lady Devils. They're going to send it to the left wing side, kick it back up to the top of the key. Now on to Stewart. Stewart dribbles off towards the left side of the floor. And the ball stolen away by Sadie Rotten, feeds it down towards Briley Sims. Got a little out in front of her, and Gordon Central picked it off and headed back the other way. And the ball goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with Gordon Central. A little chaotic there for just a moment. Back and forth, a couple of steals. A little chaos every now and then is kind of yeah, fun. It is. They're going to feed it in, go right down to the low block, and that's going to be a foul. I thought that Riley Sims was going to force the tie up there for a second, but there was some contact. Got her with the body, and that's going to send Gordon Central to the free throw line. And at the free throw line is Chelsea Parker, her first free throw shots of the game. First one's on the way, and that one's going to be a little flat. Goes off the front of the rim. She'll get ready for a second free throw. Goes through her routine, puts up the shot. That one's going to rattle in. We're starting to see that trend again, Ian. We are, that front end trend. Five minutes to go in the second quarter. Chris pass inside to August Betts. Ball is picked off. Here comes Gordon Central the other way, and a whistle and a foul is going to be called against Shin Holster. Stewart will get back to the line. One for two last time. Missing the front, hitting the second end of her two shots, I believe. Yes, that yeah. is correct. That's the trend that we've seen so far in the two trips. Here's the first shot, and that one rattles off the rim. I think she's due. Yeah, I do too. The way things are going. 4.54 left to go here in the second quarter. Model 23, Gordon Central 4. Second shot on the way, and it's three. <laughs> of course it is. So Gordon Central shooting 50% from the free throw line, three out of six. The math gets tougher as we go, so you only hear it here in the early part of the game. <laughs> Rachel Burkhalter sends it over in front of the Gordon Central bench. Model with the basketball and a 23 to five lead. Schenholster to Rotten, a long two. That one's gonna go over the rim. And the rebound's gonna be picked up by Gordon Central, who's gonna bring it up the floor. They'll go across the timeline with it. Dribble towards the top of the key. Long range three on the way. That one's too strong. Karam's outside of the rim. And we got a whistle and a tie up. Possession arrows pointing Model's way. We'll go back the other way. An 18 point lead for the Lady Blue Devils. 
Burkhalter feeds it into Julia Shinholster running the point, sends it left wing side to Briley Sims, now back to Shinholster. Bounce pass inside to Rotten, back out to Sims, on to Shinholster, back to Rotten, right where she was. That one's going to be short, but the putback is going to fall, and that was made by Jada Wells. A good rebound there by Jada Wells as she crashed the boards, cleaned them up, and got the putback. And now Gordon Central goes the other way with it. With the ball, it's going to be Renaya Ellis feeds it inside to Stout, puts it up. That one's over the rim. Stewart, rather, not Stout. Now Ellis with the ball. She's tied up between two defenders. I believe she called timeout. No, nope, a jump no, ball. Gonna, yeah, but mm -hmm. that'll stay with Gordon Central as they have the possession arrow currently. So Gordon Central set the feed it in, trailing 25 to 5. They trail by 20 points with 346 left to go in the first half. Gordon Central feeds it to the top of the key. Now to Ellis, who stands on the right wing side with it. It's going to make her move on Briley Sims. Lost the ball for a second. Picked up by Gordon Central. They're going to keep it. Stewart with it right now. Jacks up a quick three-point shot and nails it. Yeah, Tom was Ooh. running out on the shot clock, and she pulled and drained it. Here's another three on the other side. That one's going to be a little too strong off the side of the rim. And the ball is going to go out of bounds. Last touch by Model trying to save it. Burkhalter tried to answer the three and couldn't knock it down. So Gordon Central with a chance to cut into this Model lead as we get close to three minutes left in the second quarter. Renai Ellis gives it off to Briley Stewart. Stewart across the center court strike. Tries to dribble around the pick. Goes right to the low block. Gets blocked by Rachel Burkhalter, but there was some contact there. And call the foul. Stewart's done a good job getting to the rack and getting to the line. This will be her fifth and sixth attempts. So far, she's two for four. I only know that because you gave us the stat earlier that they were shooting 50%. Well, if the trend continues, I can keep up with the math, but she makes the first one, so now she's going to make it a little bit trickier, That's honestly, right. yeah. unless she misses the second one. 25 to 9 is the score in favor of model 305 left to go. But you're right, good strategy here for Gordon Central. Challenge underneath, try to get the free throw line, get some points for the clock stop, and the second one rattles out. So yeah. it remains at 50%. That's right. Here's Julia Shinholster across the timeline, motoring quickly, is gonna try to get it out to Javia Samples, but good hands right there by Katie Hames, who came in and deflected it out of bounds. And Shinholster got herself into trouble, and Hames almost came away with the steal. Samples is going to send it in to Georgia um, Womack. And now Julia Shinholster picks it up, sends it over to Samples. They get it down to Wells underneath, puts it up high off the glass. It won't go. Chased down by Gordon Central. They've got it. A little bit of pressure here will drop back for Model. And Gordon Central will bring it up the floor with 2.38 left to go in the second quarter. Ellis nearly has her pocket picked, but that's going to be a reaching in foul, I believe, against Shinholster. Fouls are starting to pile up here for Model in the second quarter. So we're going to see Ellis going to the free throw line. Renaya Ellis, this is her first trip to the strike. So Renaya is going to dribble the ball a few times as part of her routine and puts it up. And that one's going to be short off the front of the rim. It's a long hold after the dribble. If you watch that, that was a little, little awkward. Let's, let's see this routine a second time. Three dribbles, spins the ball in her hands and puts up the shot. That one's off the back of the rim and it rattles mm -hmm. in. Still 50% from the free throw line. They, they are indeed. 25 to 10, 15 point lead. Model has led by as many as 20 in this game. A couple of different occasions. They're going to feed it back out to Shin Holster, trying to get it to Wells. It was nearly picked off, deflected, but picked up by Javia Samples. She's got it on the right wing. Balls poked out of bounds by Gordon Central. Right now, Sally Eccles is getting some, some of these girls some minutes with this lead. We'll see how long she stays with that before the half. They feed it in the backcourt. The Joy Shinholster brings it across and gives it to Womack. Now up top to Wells. Wells is going to hold on to it, sit it inside. Shot up by Howard is going to be missed. Ball picked up by Gordon Central. They'll head back the other way, and that is going to be an offensive foul, no doubt, against Gordon Central and Ellis. And who else to draw it? Julia Shenholz. That's right. Not afraid of contact whatsoever. 
So Julia Shinholster defeated in, gets it to Samples. Samples back to Shinholster, starts to dribble, picks it up, sends it to the free throw line to Wells. She drives in and travels in front of the official. Picked up the pivot foot there. I'm surprised some of the some of the post players from model they keep flashing to the free throw line and there's the defenders aren't coming out to challenge them. They've been making a good extra pass there, but that little short jump shot could come in handy. Bringing it up the floor is going to be Briley Stewart, the junior guard here for Gordon Central. Tries to work around a pick, goes into the paint, and boy, that was, that was a big time seven travel or eight right steps there. there. <laughs> that was like a ballet move. <clears throat> Nobody's going to argue against that one. Well, I don't know. Somebody probably I'm would sure, in yeah. today's society. Yeah, yeah. Howard. Now Shin Holster sends it on to Womack on the right wing side. She'll send it right back to Shin Holster. Long range three. That one bounces high off the rim. Womack gets the rebound. Quick put back. That won't go. And Samples comes out with it. Quick jump shot, and it is three. Is that 12 for Samples? That is correct. Yeah. Across the timeline goes Ellis and Gordon Central. We're almost down to the one minute mark here of the second period of the basketball game. We model back to a 17 point lead. 27 to 10, your score, and another traveling call. Shenholzer went for the steal, uh, but uh, she disrupted the play and forced the travel instead as Chelsea Parker picked up her foot trying to avoid getting the ball swiped. Janiah Caldwell's going to check into the game here for Model. She'll trigger it into Javia Samples, who brings it across the center court stripe and goes off to the left wing, picks up her dribble, sends it back up top to Janiah. Now on to Womack. She'll start to dribble forwards and hands it off to Javia Samples. Backs up, resets the offense. Nice crisp pass underneath. Shot is up, won't go for Wells. Howard came out with a rebound. Here's the shot from Womack, rattles off. Rebounds picked up by Gordon Central. And here come the Lady Warriors down the floor. Quick shot off the glass. That one won't go. And the rebound's going to go to Model. They chase it down. Shot clock's off. Samples, left wing side to Caldwell. Now underneath to Howard, back out to Wells. Ball is going to be poked free, and there's some contact. Wow. So we're going to see Wells, that those charity stripe yeah. in. Stewart will get called with the foul. She felt like she had all ball and is having a little chat with the official. And Wells will get two shots. So we get ready for the free throws from Wells. First one's on the way, and that one's right through. Get ready for a second. 28 to 10, model up by 18. And Wells with one more free throw coming up after making the first. Shots on the way, and that one's right through. Looking free throws. Yeah. So now the score moves to 29 to 10 with 17 seconds on the clock remaining here in the first half. Across the timeline is Ellis for Gordon Central. She'll start to dribble and make her move. Dribbles off to the left wing, now down towards the low block, and a whistle and a foul is going to be called against Gordon Central. So Model will have a chance to tack on another basket here with 7.6 seconds left in the first half. Ames picks up another foul for Gordon Central. Oh, the shit for the cow is here. No, eat more chicken, man. Dude, I, I eat plenty of it. I ate there for lunch today, and I had the exact same thing that I got there when I had lunch there yesterday. True story. <laughs> Here's a long shot from half court. That one's off the glass, won't go, and that's the end of the first half with your model Lady Devils leading Gordon Central 29-10 to 10 at halftime. We're glad to have you with us here on WLAQ and also the Northwest Georgia Media Live Video Stream. Good first half for the model Lady Devils. Here. Yeah, yeah, was, I was really impressed with the way Coach Eccles Brought in her her bench players to get them some valuable minutes, but keeping just a few starters out there. Uh, that's how you build depth. So uh, impressed with the way she's managing the team and the way they're playing so far. Hot from outside the arc. Oh yeah, we'll talk about that when we come back. But it's halftime, and we're going to send it back to the studio for a two and a half minute break. We'll come back, and run down the scoring again at halftime. Model 29, Gordon Central 10. We're back in two and a half minutes. Introducing the new Onward High Performance Lithium Ion Personal Transportation Vehicle from Club Car. When it comes to style, power, and performance, look no further. 
The onward HP Lithium Ion exceeds expectations with impressive hill climbing performance and high power acceleration. No other vehicle in the industry can compete. Our automotive quality, self contained battery is protected by a corrosion resistant and watertight steel case. This state of the art battery is maintenance free. And with an industry leading six year battery warranty, you can rest easy knowing your onward HP lithium ion is ready when you are. Welcome to the next era of club car innovation. Access to me means I get to explore and define myself. Access that allows me to follow my passion. For me, it means I get to do what I've always dreamed of doing, helping people. Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Sé el primero. W.C. Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, W.C. Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage, as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706 238 one two one four WC Timber and Tree Service Crestview Angus your source for premium locally raised beef delivering the finest quality from farm to table contact them on Facebook to place your order today Hey folks, and welcome back live here to Witter Gymnasium where we've got model basketball for you tonight. And it's been a good first half that so far uh, for the Model Lady Devils. They lead it here at halftime, 29 to 10. They led by as many as 20 on a couple occasions there in the first half. And then it really feels like the Lady Devils are in, in full control of this game. Oh, yeah, yeah. They came out uh, guns blazing, knocking down a bunch of three-pointers to pull away early and uh, have done a good job. Uh, moving the ball in the half court offense is m most of their points have come in the half court. They're not getting out and, and running. That doesn't mean they're not turning the ball over because they have forced a lot of steals. Uh, it's, it's been an impressive team effort. And again, very impressed with how Coach Eccles is cycling in her players off the bench to get them much needed experience and build depth for this team. Let's run down the scoring there from the first half. We'll start with the visiting Gordon Central Lady Warriors. They would score again 10 points there in that first half. They would pick up six points from Briley Stewart, one point from Chelsea Parker, three points from Raniah Ellis. That totals up to their 10 points there in the first half. Meanwhile, for the Model Lady Devils, they would pick up three points from Rachel Burkhalter, two from August Betts, four points for Jada Wells, eight for Sadie Rotten, and the leading score there from the first half was Javia Samples. She picked up 12 points, and we mentioned to you earlier in the broadcast that in the game against Temple, the victory on Friday night on the road. She had 22 points in that game, including four threes. So, um, man, what a great contribution from her tonight on both sides of the floor. Yeah, and uh, have we mentioned she's just a sophomore? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this is, uh, this is somebody who your offense can flow through for the next three seasons. So, uh, exciting things on the horizon. But um, this is a model team that's, that's poised to make a big run at a region championship. And, uh, a second round state playoff team as well, Matt. So aspirations are high here in Shannon. And other noteworthy uh, numbers there from the first half. Only one made three for Gordon Central there in that first half. Meanwhile, Model would make five three pointers. They were doing a great job shooting from the perimeter. And as far as free throw shooting was concerned, it was well documented by yours truly uh, there in that first half end that Gordon Central shot 50% there from the That's free right. throw line. They were five of 10. But um, also helping us making, making for some easy numbers there in the first half was the Model Lady Devils. They were four of four. 
shooting so 100 they, they shot 100 percent right. there in the first half yeah. now don't expect any percentages as we get towards the end of the game because i would imagine those things will go a little bit more tricky there i don't have my calculator out in front of me but um, you know, Sally Eccles has got to be really pleased with the effort and execution that she's gotten from her team after a half of play. Yeah, yeah, the ball's flying around the court. Uh, you're not seeing anybody loafing around out there. Uh, and you wouldn't expect that from a, from a Eccles coach squad. Uh, but the Devils have come out with a lot of energy early, and that's what helped them get that big lead uh, and separate from the Warriors, leading by 19 at the half. We're with you at halftime. Def definitely want to take an opportunity to thank the sponsors. We'll start with the live stream sponsors for this year of Model High School Basketball, Mathis Trailer and Equipment Sales, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialist, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, Crestview Angus, and radio sponsors, RS Follows, Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales, Sylvan Learning Center, Wear Mechanical, and, of course, we're providing audio here for the broadcast courtesy of WLAQ Radio in Rome. The crew today on the live stream, you've got Benton Potts and Caleb Bice doing a great job with the cameras. Director is Mike Garrett, always does a tremendous job there. Replay is Nathan Patterson, the guru. And I tell you, he's kind of like a mad scientist. You never know what that guy's going to come up with next. He was talking about some things to me, um, you know, before the game today. It just absolutely makes my head spin. That is a smart dude right there. How about a bungee, a bungee cam, Nathan? Let's go for that. Let's see, see what you can do. Drop down from the top of the gymnasium. Well, let's get just some overhead shots. Let's just say he's got some <laughs> ideas for the replay stuff that's going to keep you really busy here coming up. Excellent. Soon. Awesome. So. I'm excited. Now, you never know what to expect there. That is a top notch organization and a, and a great way for people to view the game that can't be here. PA announcer is Grayson Atkins. I'm Matt Davis. Along with me is Ian Griffin with commentary. And we've got Lynn Butler back at Command Central at WLAQ. Speaking of Lynn, we're going to take another break. Two minutes. We'll come back for the second half. Model 29, Gordon Central. 10 will be back in two. West Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Bounds the ball, leading at 29 to 10. We're underway with the second half of this one. Gordon Central here at Woodard Tuggle, or not Woodard Tuggle, that's football stadium, Woodard Gymnasium, rather. Said that a lot back in the day. Javis Samples now up to the top of the key. Now back out to Samples. Corner three on the way. That's going to be a miss. Here's the putback attempt by Eva Pointer, and it's missed, but Ian, she gets the contacts going to the free throw line. She is, and is she going to mess with your percentages? That's the big <laughs> question. Great rebound there by Pointer. 
So Eva Pointer stands at the free throw line. As we pointed out in the first half, model was four for four from the charity stripe. First shot on the way, and that one goes off the rim, just off the mark by a hair. And the math has now gone haywire. Yeah, no more math for me the rest of the game. We get ready for Pointer's second free throw here of the pair. We'll give Model another 20 point lead, and it does. It's right through. So she's 50% from That's the free right. throw. That's right. You just gave us more math. How about <laughs> that? Uh, bringing it up the floor is Stewart here for Gordon Central. Ball's knocked loose. And she comes back out with it, lost the handle on it, retains possession. Stewart will bounce it off of Sample's knee, and Model comes out with it. Sims has got it. Motors across the center court stripe, sends it to a cutting pointer off the glass uh, and through. Great control there by Riley Sims. And she made a really nice crossover dribble. Another steal. August Betts takes the pass from, from Eva Pointer, who just stolen it yeah. away and knocks it through. A lot happened there in the last 10 seconds. Absolutely. So, so much so that it caused Gordon Central to call a timeout. Macy Mills, we're going to take it also. Model 34, Gordon Central 10. We're back in 30. Access allows me to do what I've always dreamed of, and that is helping people. it in off the inbound pass. They will bring it up the floor. Ellis has got it across the center court stripe, gets bumped over on the sidelines. Ball went out of bounds and it was off on Gordon Central. Wow. I thought they might get samples for a block there, but she did a good job. They feed it into samples. She is at the top of the key, dribbles right, sends it to Burke Halter in the corner. Now they get it into Betts. Betts fires it out to an open Burke Halter for three. That one bounces high off the rim, won't go. And the ball's poked out of bounds by Gordon Central. Last off Stewart, so it'll stay with Model. Burke Halter bounces it into Betts on the left wing side. Nice crisp pass out to Samples. Back to Burke Halter, puts up the shot. That one's off the mark. Rebounds taken by Gordon Central. They're going to bring it up the floor. A lob pass at the top of the key. Now they kick it back out to their point guard. That's Stewart. Work it around to the free throw line. Ball is stolen away. Coming out with it as pointer. Boy, she's everywhere on defense right now. Sure is. Kicks it out to Samples to the free throw line to Betts off the back of the rim. Won't go. Pointer's there for another rebound. They kick it out to Burke Halter on to Samples. Sharp pass inside. Here's Pointer, and it's off the front of the rim. Won't go. It's on rebound. Pointer does track it down. Has the basketball. Is going to feed it back out to Sims. Thought about three. Backs up, and they'll reset the offense with 18 seconds left to go on the shot clock. And inside move by Samples. Puts it up. Little runner won't go. Here's the putback. It falls. Bradley Sims. Great job there by Samples to follow her shot, make the pass to Sims, and she hits the short jumper. 36 to 10, and the lead growing here for Model, and they steal it away. Guess who came out with it? Pointer. Pointer. Gives it to Samples. Kicks it out to the right wing side to Sims. Now back out to Samples. And Model is content to run their half-court offense right now. Bounces it over to Burke Halter, drives towards the lane, puts it up. Pointer again. Gets fouls going to the line. Right now, Model's five for six from the free throw line. And we'll see where they are after this one. But we're not going to ask Matt to get to the mass. <laughs> Pointer puts up the first free throw of the pair. High arcing shot. That one bounces off the side of the rim into the official's hands, and he'll give it right back to her. She'll get ready for her second shot. We're at the home of the Blue Devils tonight, Woodard Gymnasium out at Model High School. Hope you're having a great time wherever you are. Here's Pointer's second shot, and that one is going to bounce off the rim. She is one Lane for. violation. Oh, so she's going to get another one. Yeah. So Pointer remains at the charity stripe. Model leading it 36 to 10, up by 26 points with 5.23 left to go in the third quarter. Shot on the way is through. Made him pay for the violation. 
Ball's Ooh. poked free. Samples has got it one on one with Stewart and hacks at her and fouls her. She's going to the line. What going to let her have an easy bucket no, there? For she the turn wasn't. Over. When Stewart fouls, she fouls with purpose. <laughs> she does. How many is that on Stewart? Uh, I have her with two, but it may be one more than that. Three. It's okay. three. Shot on the way, and that one's through. Looked a little flat when it left her hands, but it went right through. It did. Samples keeps adding to that point total. And so Stewart with three fouls. Model leading at 38 to 10, up by 28 points. Have been in control of this one from the jump. Shot on the way, and that one's through. Samples is four for four. Knocking them down, and Julia Schenholzer will give Samples a breather. Samples leads all scores with 14 points in this one. Bringing it up the floor is going to be Stewart for Gordon Central. She across the center court strike, dribbles right, and the ball is stolen away. Rachel Burkhalter down to Julia Schenholster off the glass and through. Easy money. Nice teamwork there. Good pass from Burkhalter to Schenholster. Schenholster's first bucket of the game. Miles lead grows to 31, 41 to 10, 4.53 left to go in the third quarter. We may have a short and fourth quarter here. Ball poked free, Ooh. Model comes up with another turnover, pass underneath the wells, off the glass, leaves that one short, Shinholster gets the board, ricochets off of Burkholter, back to Shinholster, picks up her dribble, now they get it to the right wing side, back to Shinholster, tries to feed it into wells, it was deflected out of bounds by Ellis and Gordon Central. Yeah, great ball movement there by Model, and on the other end of the floor it was Sadie Rotten that poked the ball free for the steal and started the fast break. Uh, good job by Gordon Central getting back, but Model maintains possession. They send it to the corner to Sadie Rotten, who drives towards the lane, and she travels. Yeah, yeah. I, the continuation no. there, I mean, I, I kind of get the argument there. Coach Eccles questioning the call. Gordon Central brings it across the timeline. Kinsley Caudill with it, dribbles up top, going to bounce it to the free throw line to Ellis, drives in, backs off a defender, and scores. Burkhalter wanted the, wanted the call there, but they're going to give the bucket. Rotten oh. fires one. Three-point shot, caroms off the rim. Rebound chased up by Burkhalter, tries to feed it to Shinholz. It's deflected out of bounds by Swain, so it stays with the Blue Devils. Boys game coming up after this one. They give it to Rotten. Shot from just inside the free throw line is missed. Battle for the rebound ball is kicked out of bounds by Gordon Central. So stay on this end. Model leading this game by 29 points. Jada Wells now to Briley Sims. Right wing side, good ball movement. Open three-point shot is left short. Rebounds taken by Wells. Model may get another look. Shot on the way, rattles off the rim. And a whistle and a foul. I think Wells went over the back. Yep. That is correct, Matt. So Gordon Central will feed it in behind the back dribble as she crosses center court. Feeds it to the top of the key. Out to Ellis, a kick out and a three. That one caroms off the rim. Picked up by Briley Sims on the long board. Here comes Shinholster, feeds it underneath to Burkhalter. Back to Shinholster. Thought about the three, didn't pull the trigger. Now here's the three ball on the way. That's off the mark. The ball sails out of bounds. That one, a little wide left there from Shinholster on the three attempt. Run it back the other way, Gordon Central. So Gordon Central brings it up the floor. Swain's got it. Now it's going to send it across to Caudill. Caudill bounces it underneath. They go right to the basket. Can't get it to the rim. And now they're going to get it to Swain on the right wing side. Chastain lobs it over back to Ellis. Ellis works around a couple of defenders, puts it up, goes in and out. Gets the rebound and the putbacks miss, but she's going to the line. Yeah, yeah, nice effort there by Ellis, and she'll get two shots. Shinholster called for the foul. And Renai Ellis at the free throw line with two shots. She is one of two from the stripe so far in this basketball game. So we get ready for her to put up a couple. Right now, model leading at 41 to 12. And here is the first shot on the way, high arcing, and it's three. Dead center on that one. Yes, indeed. Now we're going to have another sub into the game here for Model. Checking in for the first time, I believe, in this game is Addie Mathis, the sophomore. 
Well, even the game, Rachel Burkhalter, we'll give you a floor check for both teams in a moment. But the second free throw's in the air. That one won't go. Sadie Rotten is able to get the board, boxes out, and a foul's wow. going to be called against her, I guess, throwing the elbows. Yeah, huh? I guess so. I didn't feel like that was overzealous, but uh, trust the officials. I, think, I thought it was exactly how you're taught to do. Yeah. Gordon Central will bounce it in, try to set something up off the inbound pass. Ball was deflected. Mathis picks it off, comes up with a steal right off the bench, gives it to Shin Holster, back to Mathis. Mathis tries to send it to Wells, wasn't quite ready to handle the pass, and it sails out of bounds. Well, thought it was a tipped. pretty good pass, but it may have been. Yeah, I think it did get tipped. It'll stay with Model. So Shin Holster defeated in from the baseline, surveys the floor, bounces it into Wells in between Ooh, two walk. defenders, but she walks. <laughs> yep. Gordon Central fires it in. They'll bring it up the floor. With it right now is Swain. Spins around as she goes across center court. Being guarded right now by Shin Holster. Tenacious defense right there. Addie Mathis is all over. Person handling the ball now. They send it to the left wing side. Now inside they go to Ellis off the glass wow. and rolls in. Really nice drop step there by Ellis. Shin Holster brings it across the center court stripe for Model. Sends it right wing side to Womack. They get it to Wells and that one's through. Good feed. Wells answers. Two minutes left to go in the third quarter. Model up 43 to 15. Gordon Central with the basketball. They lose the handle on the pass there. Here's Ellis for a long two, misses the shot. The putback is going to rattle off the rim. And both teams try to battle for the rebound. It's going to stay with Gordon Central. It went out of bounds. So to trigger it ends, Caudill here for Gordon Central. Surveys the floor, finds an open player. Ball is nearly knocked free by Model. They back their way in. There's Ellis, tries to get it to the rim. Wells is able to get the rebound. Here comes Model the other way, left to right. Womack with it in the right wing side, feeds it inside to a cutting Wells, and she yeah. gets fouled. Good feed there by Womack. And Wells will get a couple of shots. So Jada Wells at the free throw line. She's two of two from the charity strike in this game. Well, so far in the game has six points, helping her team. 43 to 15, your score. And the shot's on the way, and that one's right through. Three of three. Yeah, Wells has a good stroke from the free throw line. Steps up confident. Let's it fly. I had a player check in for Gordon Central, but her hair is over her number, so I have no idea who it is. Is there not a rule against that? I don't know. It's very, uh, is that not 10? Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I have no clue. Could be a 20. Wells puts up the shot and that one's through, makes them both. And now it's back to a 30 point lead here for Model. That is 10. 10, okay. Gordon Central with the ball on the right wing side. Now they get it in the hands of Parker. Parker drives. Yeah, good block by Routon. Ball's out of bounds, so it's going to stay with Gordon Central. As we get ready for Kinsley Caudle to feed it in here for the Warriors. Caudle surveys the floor and is going to send it in off the inbound pass. Rattles off the rim, won't go for Ellis. She chases down her own rebound, though, and then dribbles it out, kicks it out to Caudle. Three pointer on the way is through. Good looking shot. That was her first bucket of the game, and it was a good one. Womack with it. 45 to 18, model leads it, samples with it out around the perimeter. They give it out to Rotten, now back out to the right wing side to Mathis. The feed to Samples makes a move towards the bucket, kicks it out to Sadie Rotten, now on the Samples on the right wing side. Now gonna dribble it up top. Mathis with it onto Womack. Jab step, fakes left, sends it over to Samples for three and three. My goodness. Man. And, 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 you know, hadn't been a very close game, so Samples hasn't had to be on the floor, but how many points is she up to now, Matt? 18? She, she has 17. 17. Yep. Including three made threes in the game, and she's four of four from the charity stripe. Has a couple other field goals. No, she's got three threes. Did I say two or three? I think you said three. Okay, three it is. Two shots coming up here for Lyric Swain. Here for Gordon Central, first one's three. And I've lost track of the uh, free throw percentages. I gave up. Yeah. Milan Howard checks into the game for Jada Wells. So we've got one more free throw coming up for Lyric Swain. 
26.6 seconds left on the clock in the third quarter. Second shot is going to go in and out. Sadie Rotten gets the rebound, gives it off to Sadie or Jada, um, Javia Samples. Ooh, ball poked loose, a steal for Gordon Central. They will come away with it. Ellis across the center court strike with it, dribbles right, tries to work around a pick. They send it left wing side. They're swaying for three. That one's left short. Two seconds on the clock. Chasing it down is Womack. And Keck. Uh, Ball was in, but yeah. didn't get the shot off before the clock expired in the third quarter. Good effort. Yeah. Big Great. lead for the model of Blue Devils. Indeed. We're getting ready for the final frame of this one. Model leads at 48 to 19. We're back for the fourth quarter after a quick one minute break. West Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Gordon Central with the ball, trailing 48 to 19. We missed a shortened fourth quarter by one point. You gotta be up by 30, I believe, to have a shortened quarter. The model is up by 29. We're gonna get August Betts with the reach there. Gordon Central with it on the left wing side to Cottle. They go back up top. Now kick it off the left wing side. Makes a move towards the low block. Feeds it back out. Good ball movement. Shots off the mark, though. Missed three. Riley Sims comes out with it. Dribbles baseline. Gives it off to Rachel Burkhalter. Now to Samples. They feed it underneath or try to get it to Betts, and it's going to be deflected out of bounds by Gordon Central. Yeah, Katie Haynes there. Got a hand on the ball, and Rachel Burkhalter will trigger it in from underneath the basket. So Burkhalter surveys the floor, gets it in the samples. They feed it underneath the pointer, turn around, hook shot, misses the shot. Ball is poked loose. Samples dives for it, trying to keep it in bounds, but it's going back to Gordon Central. Nice move. That's the first time we've seen pointer attempt the hook shot. It's going to be fun to watch how her game evolves. She's just a sophomore as well. Indeed, man. Indeed. Across the center court stripe goes Gordon Central. They feed it at the high post. Ball is deflected, almost stolen away. No, Sims does come out with it. Here comes Samples with it for the Model Lady Devils. She's across the center court stripe. Dribbles between her legs. Seven minutes left to go on this one. Model in control. They have been from the very beginning of the game. There's a quick jump shot. That one's the side of the rim, won't go. The rebound's going to be picked up by Gordon Central. And they try to heave it across the floor. It's picked off by... Eva Pointer now model with it inside off the glass. August Betts, what a great feed though. Yeah, good feed and Betts with a nice drop step there. Finish on, on the play and uh, just great teamwork here from model as this game goes on. Six points for Betts now. Model leads at 50 to 19, 625 left to go in the ball game. With the basketball is Lyric Swain. Over on the right wing side, lets it fly for three. That one's going to go over the backboard, picked up by Briley Sims. Will lob it down to Rachel Burkhalter, who drives towards the low block, puts it up, and gets fouled. Yeah, she'll take what I believe is her first trip to the free throw line tonight. You are correct. Rachel scored three points. She had a three pointer oh. early in the. Well, nope. They're calling it on the floor. Scratch those off the scorebook. So Burkhalter set the feed it in. It's going to lob it into Betts off the inbound pass, misses the shot, but Pointer's there for the rebound, tries to send it out to a teammate, but it goes out of bounds. Nobody was in the vicinity of the pass. I thought Cottle got a hand on that, but I'm going to say that wasn't the case. Well, bringing it across the center court stripe is Stewart. 
gives it to Swain back to Stewart. Stewart starts to drive, kicks it out to Cottle. Cottle being guarded right now by Rachel Burke Halter. They sit it left wing side. Stewart drives in, puts up a high Ooh. shot, goes over the backboard and hits some of the cables. So that's out of bounds. Kind of sailed on her a little bit, huh? That's where the bungee cam would have come in handy. <laughs> yeah. Riley Sims across center court with it. He's going to stop, sends it left wing side. They go to the free throw line underneath wow. to Betts. Nice feed from Eva Pointer and Betts with the finish. Like a boxing match, pop, pop, bang with the passing there, and Betts was wide open and able to get the easy two. And ball is nearly knocked free from Model, and it is knocked out of bounds by August Betts. Yeah, left hand. Like you said, sometimes you see that volleyball player come out. You really do. Yeah. Well, at the end of the first quarter, Model led it 14 to two. Their lead would grow to 19, 29 to 10 at halftime. By the end of the third quarter, they were up 48 to 19. They've led by as many as 30 in this game. So Model has been in control since the beginning. That one's off the front of the rim. Ball picked up by Rachel Burkhalter. She motors across the center court stripe here for Model. will slow up, set up their half court offense. Sends it left wing side to Briley Sims. Sims dribbles back up top. Now on to Ava Pointer. Sends it down low to a cutting Rachel Burkhalter ball. Tied up for a moment, stolen away by Gordon Central. Stewart has it. She's across the center court stripe. They got her trapped. Sims and Schenholster had her tied up, but she's able to pass out of it. So Gordon Central keeps the ball, 24 seconds on the shot clock, and they set up the half-court offense. They send it inside, now going to send it outside to Swain. Now back up top, poke free and stolen away by Rachel Burkhalter, one-on-one -on -one off the glass, and it rattles through. Yeah, nice finish there with the left hand by Rachel Burkhalter. Dealing the score. And now here comes Gordon Central back the other way. Swain kicks it out to Stewart. Stewart picks it up, looking for a teammate. And is going to, oh, still searching, going to lob it underneath, poke free and out of bounds by Eva Pointer. And here come some fresh legs. Riley Sims and Rachel Burkhalter exit the game. That might be their curtain call for the night with four minutes remaining. So on the floor right now for model, you got Julia Shinholster, Sadie Rotten, Eva Pointer, Georgia Womack, and Jada Wells. And Gordon Central triggers it in motion. They've got it on the right wing side. Stewart now is going to dribble with it. Swain now with the ball. Stands in front of the Gordon Central bench, being guarded by Eva Pointer. Spins around. Ball is poked free by Womack. Kept in bounds by Gordon Central, but goes to Wells. And Model has it. Across the timeline goes Pointer. Loses the handle. Reach him foul on Lyric Swain. Poke that one free. And Julia Schenholster surveys the floor, feeds it into an open pointer off the inbound pass. Can't get it to go. Rebound is going to be battled for by Wells. Grabbed a hold of it, battling with Chelsea Parker, and that forces a tie-up. Possession arrow was in Model's favor. Ball will stay on this end. And the point blank shots have been kind of tough for Model tonight. They, they really have. have. And it's been that way throughout yeah. much of the game, to your point. Julia Schenholster surveys the floor, looking to trigger it in motion, bounces it in, goes off the hands of Pointer into the hands of Gordon Central. They will bring it up the floor. Ellis has it. She's on the end at midcourt, gives it off to Cottle. Cottle tries to feed it into a cutting uh, Ellis. It ended up in the hands of Stewart, but is stolen away by Model. Sadie Rotten across the center court stripe with it, gives it to Womack. 325 left to go in the game. Shin holster to Womack inside the free throw line, knocks down the two. There's the short J going down. Womack gets on the board. Gordon Central across the timeline, closing in on that three minute mark with model leading at 56 to 19, but it feels like this game was settled long ago. Here's Gordon Central underneath, going to be knocked away by Ethan Pointer and out of bounds. Stat sheet stuffer, Eva Pointer gets the block there, and she'll take a seat, and so will Julia Schenholster. And the model's really never let off the gas in this game. They've maintained their intensity throughout the entire four quarters. That's off the glass and through a three-pointer by Briley Stewart. It's her second made three of the game. She's got nine points underneath. Wells trying to get it to the bucket, gets fouled. Go to the line. Wells has done a great job of flashing to the middle of the paint and getting good position. 
keeping the defenders on her hip and turning and getting her shot up. And Jada Wells, just another example of an underclassman who has been a major contributor to this team. First free throw on the way, and that one's through. She remains perfect, five for five from the charity stripe in this game. That's easy math. Has nine points. Second shot on the way from Wells, and it caroms off the rim. Rebound's going to be picked up by Parker and Gordon Central. They'll bring it back the other way with 2.42 left to go in the ball game. Ellis sends it left wing side back up top to Caudle. Caudle and the feed over to Parker. Parker and kicks it out. Long range three. That's off the back of the rim there for Stewart. And the rebound goes to Model after a battle. Wells comes out with it. Sadie Rotten across the timeline. Passes to Womack on the left wing side. Now she's going to send it to Rotten on the left wing. Nice crisp pass inside to Wells. Can't get the finish, though. Ellis comes out with the board for Gordon Central. Flings it cross court to Stewart. Drives to the left wing side. Wide open three as a defender hit the deck. That goes in and out. Sadie Rotten's there for the rebound. At the two-minute mark, man. There we are. Sadie's Game's flown by. Bounce pass to Womack. Little runner there. Goes off the front of the iron and rolls. She picks it up. Womack gets her own rebound. She'll back up, reset the offense here for Model. Try to bleed some clock here, probably. Howard with it at the top of the key. Now to the right wing side, she goes to Caldwell. Caldwell fires it to the right wing side in the corner with it. Sadie Rotten here for Model. And they try to feed it into Caldwell. One pass too many. Ellis picks it off, picks it up as she crosses the timeline, kicks it out to the right wing side. And here's Stewart trying to get an open three, but she can't because Caldwell's all over her and forces a turnover. She travels. And Stewart, you could tell she wanted to jack up the three, but solid defense out there on the perimeter by Caldwell. We're going to have some more subs in the game. I believe Catherine Betts just checked into the game for the first time, the sophomore. And also at uh, we got a player I don't have on the roster. I'll we'll have to double check on that one. Number two, I don't have her. They try to get it underneath the Howard balls, poked free by Gordon Central. We'll check with. Model defeated in. They get it to Howard underneath, off the glass and through. And we're trying to check with Grayson Atkins, the PA announcer, find out who number two is. We'll want to make sure to get that young lady's name on the broadcast for sure. They go to the right wing side. Little runner won't go. Rebound's going to be taken by Caudle. They feed it back out to the top of the key. Now right wing side they go. With it is Parker back up top to Caudle. 44 seconds left to go in the ball game. Ellis has got it, tries to back her way in between two defender does and scores. What a strong move. Model with it back the other way. Addie Mathis has got the ball. Mathis dribbles between her legs, kicks it back out. They go to Caldwell for three, and it's through. Wow. Yes, buries it. Janiah Caldwell with a three-point shot. Makes it 62-24 to in Model's favor. Parker with it for Gordon Central on the other side. Gets fouled with 13.4 seconds left to go. Always love to see the reaction of the, the starters when the guys on the bench get in there and, and get a chance to, to score like that. Miriam Burns is number two, by the way, out on the floor for Model. I had her as 12. They're going to feed it to Betts off the glass and through her first bucket of the game, Catherine Betts. A little more specific there because two Betts on the roster. And that's the end of the ball game, folks. Model wins it by 40. 64 Impressive. to 24 is your final score. Great effort by the Lady Blue Devils. And uh, getting to see some of the younger players get in there and get a few buckets is always a lot of fun. It's all smiles if you're wearing blue and white tonight. Well, we're going to send it back to the studio for a two-and-a-half-minute break, two-and-a-half-minute break down the line. We'll come back and recap the first game and give you the scoring and totals. But we're glad you're with us. Model won this one, 64-24, a 40-point victory over Gordon Central in an important region game. We're back in two-and-a-half. Access 
to me means I get to explore and define myself. Access, that allows me to follow my passion. For me, it means I get to do what I've always dreamed of doing, helping people. Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Sé el primero. Crestview Angus, your source for premium locally raised beef, delivering the finest quality from farm to table. Contact them on Facebook to place your order today. WC Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, WC Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706-238-1214. W Introducing the new Onward High Performance Lithium Ion Personal Transportation Vehicle from Club Car. When it comes to style, power, and performance, Look no further. The Onward HP Lithium Ion exceeds expectations with impressive hill climbing performance and high power acceleration. No other vehicle in the industry can compete. Our automotive quality, self contained battery is protected by a corrosion resistant and watertight steel case. This state of the art battery is maintenance free. And with an industry leading six year battery warranty, you can rest easy knowing your Onward HP Lithium Ion is ready when you are. Welcome to the next era of club car innovation. courtside at Woodard Gymnasium, home of the Model Blue Devils, and it was a great first game. Model Lady Devils went by 40, 64 to 24 over Gordon Central. Let's have a look at some numbers. We're going to start with the visiting Gordon Central Lady Warriors. They would pick up, again, 24 points there in the game. They would get nine points of production from Briley Stewart, one point for Chelsea Parker, three for Kinsley Caudle, one point from Lyric Swain, the leading scorer for Gordon Central tonight with 10 was Renaya Ellis. They were 7 of 14 from the free throw line, and they made three threes in the game. Meanwhile, they ended up 50%. They did. They ended up 50% for the night from the charity stripe. That is, if my math was correct on adding up their totals. We know the math is right on 7 of 14. But uh, now we'll talk about the Model Lady Devils. One of the key things here for Model, obviously, we, we talked about how they would set the tone with their offense. They started hitting some shots early in this game that helped get things going for this team they had 12 players in that got on the scorebook scoring some points in this game yeah and that started right right off the snap you know they're moving the ball around you had Eva Pointer and uh, you had uh, Briley Sims flashing to the line passing the ball around hitting the players on the perimeter they were hot from behind the arc then they started to get out and run and get some shots in transition in the second half. So ton of contributors and then late in the game, it was a ton of fun, Matt, to see players like Catherine Betts get a bucket and uh, Janiah Caldwell as well hit a three pointer. Uh, and it's just great to see the looks on, on the upperclassmen's faces when, when the younger players get in and get to hit a bucket. So makes for it makes for a really cool environment. No doubt. And you know, also talking about the younger players, you're looking at the future there. So yeah. to get those minutes and games like this and get that experience, that's one of those things that really it's going to pay dividends for this program as you move forward. Well, uh, more numbers here. Uh, model was 11 of 14 from the charity stripe, so shot at a high clip there as far as free throws are concerned. That always make your head coach happy, no right. doubt about it. They made seven threes in the game, and here's how the scoring went down by individual. Julia Shinholster with two, Riley Sims with two, five for Rachel Burkhalter, two for Georgia Womack, 
Tonight, Caldwell, you referenced the three that she made. That was her lone bucket of the game. August Betts had eight points, two points for Catherine Betts late in the game, four points for Eva Pointer. But she was everywhere right. on both sides of the floor, right. getting rebounds, stealing the ball, coming Locking up with blocks. Shots. She had a great game. Yeah, I'd love to know the extended stats. We'll have to ask Coach Eccles. Jada Wells had nine points for Model, eight points for Sadie Rotten, two for Milan Howard, and the leading scorer in tonight's game was Javia Samples. She set, had 17 points, and all of those were in the first three quarters of the ball game. So what Impressive. a great night for the yeah. Blue Devils. Impressive effort and a region win. Those are always special. Gordon Central falls to 5-13 and 13 on the season. They are 1-5 in, in region play. Their losing streak is extended to four games. Meanwhile, the Lady Blue Devils are 12-4 and four on the season, 4-1 and one in region play, and now they have won one game and going to try to make it into a winning streak coming up later on this week. We'll tell you more about that later. But we're going to wrap up the girls' side of the broadcast. Again, glad you're with us tonight on WLAQ and also the Northwest Georgia Media live stream. And with that, we'll tell you that uh, Model wins this game 64 to 24 over Gordon Central. Now we'll start to set the stage for the boys game, which is coming up in less than 10 minutes. So we'll send it back to the studio for a two and a half minute break. And we'll come back with more live coverage of high school basketball from Woodard Gymnasium in just two and a half minutes. <laughs> 